My name is Patty Andre and I invented the Butte Catcher. It's a tool for artists, photographers, quilters. It has a movable window that opens and closes from a square to horizontal. You can get your verticals and your horizontal views. Instantly blocks out everything around it. It's made of durable plastic. It's a number five gray, so you can get your values really easy with it. You close, close up the window, you look through the small opening, and you can see your values as the value, what you're looking at through the hole. You hold it about 10 inches from your face. You can see is it darker showing through the small opening or lighter. It helps you with your value range. Plus it helps you with warm and cool colors. When you isolate a warm and cool color, it, it stands out in this little opening. And it is pocket size. Using your view catcher, slide the window of your view catcher to the size of your canvas or paper. Should the scene be horizontal or vertical? Judge what you want to paint. Where is the focal point located at? Move the view catcher in and out from your eyes to frame the scene you want. While looking at the scene through the view catcher, draw on your canvas or paper the placement of things. If you are having difficulty with the values, close your view catcher. Hold it about 10 inches from your eye, look through the circle opening, and see if the values are darker or lighter than the number five gray view catcher. We'll be looking at painting a portrait today and using the view catcher as a tool. Slide the window of the view catcher to the size of your paper or canvas. Are you going to paint a vertical or horizontal? Are you going to do the, just the head, the torso, or the whole figure? Move the view catcher in and out to see what you want to paint. Is location of the head and hands and figure in a good focal point? Move the view catcher from your eyes and see how much the figure you want to do. Do you want to do uh, a portion of it or a lot of it? Using the view catcher saves a lot of time on them making decisions rather than going through and painting it all at once. So once you and once you get your figure down and you get some values on there, you can close the look and use the little hole in the middle to judge values of the face, clothing, articles, anything around them. But the view catcher saves you a lot of time doing a portrait. Easy to see what you want to paint right away. Talk about using a view catcher, doing a still life. You open your view catcher to the size of your canvas, get the right shape of your canvas. Now look at your still life. Is it a vertical or a horizontal? Pull it in and out. You can see if you want more of the still life or if you want just a portion of it. Now while looking at the, at the still life, you pick up your brush and start sketching what you see. You can see placements, where the vases are, where the apples are. Are they going, is, are they over to the left more? Where's your focal point? All those things you can actually see through the view catcher's window. And if you have, uh, if you get stumped on colors and values, you can close the view catcher, look through the little circle opening, and you can compare color temperature, whether they're cool greens, warm greens, or values. Dark light. Do you need to make it darker? Do you need to make it lighter?